up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology zone this is tutorial 46 and today's topic will be how to chat with your Databricks table using Langchain and OpenAI okay so probably this is the third time I am actually doing the similar sort of tutorial before that I already did a tutorial where actually I talk about how to chat with your SQL database and after that I did the same thing with MongoDB and this time I'll be going to do similar thing but this time our table is hosted actually on a Databricks cluster okay so what I do uh, let me actually show you what exactly you wanna do here so walk through of the environment and a little bit of coding okay this is going to be a very uh, like uh, uh, very short video but a very e effective one okay so what I'll do so let's see so basically if you see here i have already created a uh, databricks uh, uh, workspace inside azure okay so this is my azure databricks workspace name and you can launch workspace from here so basically i just launched the workspace from here okay so this is going to be logged in in couple of minute time okay so the workspace has been launched okay so now basically couple of things so after you launch your workspace from the azure you have to actually create a compute means the cluster inside where actually will be going to do all the compute things so basically i already created a cl cluster with this name and here couple of things um, i'm actually uh, setting up an open ai api key with this thing so basically you have to set the api key here in the environment very well don't worry about this key after some time i'll be going to delete this thing okay so how to create the cluster basically you have to go here and you have to click on create computing and this will actually uh, launch something like this and there you have to go to the advanced section and you have to actually put this thing okay this is first thing and then once this is launched then you have to click on libraries and then you have to install all these libraries like if you click on install new you have to select on PyPy and you have to just name the packages name and after that you have to click on install so basically there are a couple of things uh, not a couple of things four or five different things I have installed Databricks, SQL Connector, Langchain, Langchain OpenAI, Langchain Experimental, Python.in and uh, typing extension so basically not everything is required here but I'll be going to do some more tutorials because of that I'm actually doing it so you can actually just start with this Langchain, Langchain OpenAI and Langchain Experimental and try to actually run this code it will work but if you have uh, I'll be going to do something with uh, other tutorial as well because of that actually I did this thing so once these things are done you have to go to your workspace and inside that I created a folder and inside the folder I'll be just going to create a notepad and from here I'll be going to start working on my code right now what I said I'll be going to actually chat with my Databricks table so inside Databricks where the tables are recited so tables are actually residing in this catalog so basically how to open this thing so I'll just right click and duplicate this tab okay let this tab open here okay now what I'll do I'll be going to click on catalog and inside catalog you can actually create your table but what I did here actually I actually click on sample and inside that I have a so basically this is called uh, this is called uh, catalog and this is called schema so inside the schema you have multiple tables so I have actually something called trips table so I'll be going to work with the trips table so basically trip tables are actually this many columns and if you click on the sample data it is saying you like a trip start date trip end date trip distance trip fair amount pick up zip and like drop object so this is something some sample table I'll be actually going to actually show you guys how to actually chat with this table from your Databricks cluster okay so how to chat with your Databricks uh, table from Databricks cluster using Langchain and OPI so this is the ultimate thing okay so this is going to be a very fun part because I requested a couple of um, I got some request uh, from a uh, couple of students basically so that is why I'm actually doing this tutorial so as I told you guys with the Langchain I'll try to actually touch base upon each and every small components wherever actually it is useful okay so this is the only tutorial available in the YouTube where someone is actually uh, covering all the small and very minute details with Langchain I try to actually always keep the things very uh, like um, use case driven so that uh, it is not going to give you guys only the theoretical part I try to uh, like reduce the theory but rather than I just uh, try to actually make something useful by giving you guys some sort of context and some use case okay so enough of talking so let's go here so first thing first I have to actually import couple of libraries so it should be from Langchain experimental okay 
then uh, line spin elemental agents right then dot uh, then it should be agent toolkits right and then import then create uh, spark thing it should be create spark data frame agent okay so let's see whether it is giving any error or not so no error is given so intellisense is actually not working so next thing is actually so from lang chain um, then underscore probably open ai then import chat open ai right and then from PySpark. PySpark is actually uh, so basically in Databricks cluster we have to use we can we, we, we must use PySpark. Basically we'll be going to use the feature of uh, underlying Spark because Spark actually helps us to actually do uh, parallel processing. And if you use Spark, our processing will be very fast because our data is actually coming from the large uh, table, large Databricks cluster table. Okay, so in that sense you will understand it's going to it's, it's going to be very fast but i'm not going to uh, like deal with the spark internal theory and this thing but just imagine that spark is going to be a kind of a framework and where actually the processing is actually very fast okay so by spark dot sql and we have to import the spark session right so basically so i don't know why yeah the intelligence is actually now coming so let's execute this thing okay everything is fine so now what we'll do we'll be just going to create a spark session with a variable called spark so basically we'll be going to write spark session dot builder and there we'll be going to write something called get or create and i'll just write like lang chain okay okay so this is done and then what will be going to happen so basically steer uh, okay i don't know uh, what is this uh, okay so i think uh, it's not required yes uh, um, okay i understand now so it should be small b now this will work okay that's it now it will be we'll be going to create the data frame so data frame will be coming from that table right from this table so what i'll do it should be spark dot sql right now we'll be going to write the sql query so basically what is sql query select all no right select star from and what will be going to happen we'll be just going to write down the table name right copy and we'll be going to just write down the table name and once this thing is done we'll be just going to display some rows exactly like pandas data frame okay so this is now it is done so basically see the spark job and you see total 61 jobs executed in a couple of seconds see right okay so you see it is coming now our our things are done now what will be going to happen we'll be going to create an agent okay as i told it is going to be very fast okay and if you want to check how many rows are there so you can just write df.count right okay so 21000 records are there so now what will do will be just going to create an agent right agent equals to what agent equals to create spark data frame agent right and we'll be going to pass something called llm right so before we do llm what will do uh, LLM equals to uh, what is this chat open AI right so first thing will be model will be GPT hyphen 4 and we'll be going to write temperature is 0 right 
so basically LLM equals to LLM right and data frame we have to pass the data frame is actually going to be df so it's called data frame agent right just like and then if our goes equals to true everything is set here now right so let's do right done now i'll be going to ask some question now so our main task is run started so agent dot run and there probably i'll be going to write uh, what are the columns available right so starting from very basic thing so let's see so it started the verbose mode and it is saying this many columns are available see pick up date drop up date trip distance fair amount pick up zip drop up zip right so now let's ask couple of like some more tricky question right so agent dot run okay what is the maximum trip distance right so I'll be going to ask total five question okay so let's see yeah see it is doing everything fine right now next question we'll be going to ask agent so don't worry guys about don't worry guys I'll be going to upload this uh, notebook uh, to my github repository so that you guys can use it okay so uh, which what is the or which this zip code has maximum number of pickup okay so which zip code has maximum number of pickup so let's see whether it is able to do it or not okay so it started see it's doing very fast okay pickup zip and it's calculating so there are total 1227 so this is the zip so now what I'll do will be going to just uh, change this thing. So what I'll do, I'll just going to copy this thing, copy and drop off. Okay. So total fourth question this is. Okay. Right. Same. Drop is also same. Now I'll be going to ask sorry i did something wrong okay so which date has maximum number of pickup okay mm -hmm. So in this state has maximum number of pickup total three. So basically, uh, let's see maximum number of drop which date. So basically, the date is actually uh, two zero one six one zero five. Let's see. Okay. So let's see. okay so maximum number of drop is actually this thing so maybe some of the drops are actually after 12 hour okay so last question okay uh, maybe I'll just copy this thing and ask this last question so okay what is the maximum fare Maximum fare considering all trips. Let's see how it is now going to calculate. Ah, so it's doing correctly. Okay, so that's it, guys. This is very uh, like interesting, though it's a very small tutorial. But how we are going to do that is actually going to be very tricky because. Um, uh, the data engineers are actually uh, sending me uh, a lot of questions that they are building some cluster 
or they have some clustered data and that data cannot be processed using normal SQL they must use like spark and how to actually use spark and lengthen together so this is the tutorial guys you requested I send you and you see I complete the tutorial basically I completed the tutorial in within uh, I think less than 15 minutes so hopefully you guys will enjoy it and also you'll be able to actually gain some knowledge okay so I'll be just going to conclude the video over here but before I conclude I'd be like to uh, uh, request you something that is from my personal uh, that is actually my personal request guys please uh, try to subscribe to our channel if you really enjoy our video and if you came to our channel for the first time or watching our videos for the first time please try to watch our videos from the beginning you can search with uh, Langton playlist in our channel and you will find uh, there are total uh, 46 videos are uploaded I believe this is the 46 video so you can actually start uh, watching from the beginning and this will definitely help you to actually uh, master this Langton and LLM Devel application development and last but not least um, if you have anything or if you really enjoying our video just try to actually let us know have some sort of feedback good or bad doesn't matter but please try to put some honest feedback so that we can also work on our quality and we can come back again with uh, some uh, better content for future right and if you really think these videos are helping you or uh, helping you to do some uh, of your job effectively or if it's helping you to actually do better in your like study or whatever you are doing right so if you think it is helping you in any aspect of your life then please try to let us know have some sort of acknowledgement because that will help uh, us to actually uh, get discovered by youtube uh, actually because the more engagement will actually help youtube to understand this video is valuable and they will start promoting our videos and eventually will actually gain larger audience base right so uh, with your help we can actually large, uh, get some some uh, big achievements in our life so it's a humble request guys please try to subscribe our channel share our videos with your family and friend and whenever possible if you really enjoy our video just uh, provide some comment so that it will motivate us to come back with uh, better and best content for the future okay so with that note i'd like to conclude the video over here we will see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day